everyone thank you so much for joining me today my name is Cynthia and here you see a tag that we created in the last video uh, that I posted and this particular tag really inspired me to continue to create and uh, to have this little series so today we're going to be creating a bit of a folder uh, to place into a journal and I'm just grabbing here some junk mail that I gathered uh, and some other scraps of paper from creating the tags we did last last video as well as some images of those vintage ladies again from Ruby and Pearl EXO. As always I will have all the information of where I grab my ephemera listed down below and if you ever have any questions of course feel free to um, ask me in the comments. So I'm just going to start by grabbing this folder and my first intention is to cover it as much as I can with some of those printables. Uh, I do have an envelope here that I thought maybe I could use, however um, I wanted to avoid it becoming too bulky so I didn't end up using that envelope. But here I'm just showing you um, what the folder looks like when it's fully opened and I'm just going to go right ahead and start uh, collaging onto it. So of course I really want to use this particular print as it is also found on the, um, on the tag that we created last time and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to trim, there was still a little bit of uh, the, the white left onto it so I'm going to be trimming that and I finally got my hands onto some fabric tack glue so this is the glue I'm using for this particular project. I'm just testing it out in all sorts of projects, gluing regular pieces of paper onto like glossy paper and uh, fabrics onto paper and fabrics together and just seeing how I like the glue and how it's holding up. Uh, so far I can say that the glue is really nice. It does adhere obviously very very well. I know it's a favorite of quite a few um, creators in the community. Uh, it does have a very strong smell. It kind of, to me, it smells like um, nail polish remover. And uh, <laughs> I don't like the way that it creates almost like a film on my fingers and I can't really like ball it up easily. So that's a bit annoying for me, but otherwise like it doesn't seep through paper. It doesn't really seep through fabrics either. I really like that about it and it doesn't warp the paper when you apply a lot of it which is a really a plus for me. So I'm just grabbing some more of the digital prints and trying to figure out to kind of piece them together, uh, trimming them accordingly so just by ripping them. I want to try and keep some uh, rough, a little bit of like a um, ripped edge I guess um, to make it look a little bit more organic and torn and um, just like worn I guess. <laughs> a little bit vintage feel to it and I'm just gluing everything with the same glue and uh, flipping things over as well trying to create some interest uh, to both sides of the folder. The idea behind the folder was to just to have something special in your hands that you can have into the journal but out of the journal as well where you can take some notes, um, just something special. That's always my intent when I'm creating ephemera for journals that I'm going to be using or for others. Uh, just the feel of it in your hands and a kind of that special treasure feeling is always what I'm after. So here I'm folding the piece of the digital print onto the inside to add a little bit of interest on there and um, as part of the collaging that will be happening on the inside. Because the two pieces of digital prints that I use to cover the outside of the of the uh, folder are not touching. I'm just grabbing this smaller piece and I'm ripping it 
and I'm just gonna stick it in the middle there to cover cover that um, blank area. Also including a piece of a music sheet as well as a dictionary page to the mix to add some different uh, textures and colors into the collage. I didn't want it to be only printables and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to layer them and just trimming them and then of course using that same glue to adhere them onto the folder. I'm also using this little tool here to make sure that everything is laying flat, there's no air bubbles. I'm able to fold the flaps back where they're supposed to be folding and that everything is laying as flat as possible. I do want to try and avoid hiving um, bulk into the journal as much as I can. Of course it is a little bulky, bulky. I mean it's a little folder, but um, I don't want it to be too big. And now I'm ready to add something to that last bit that is missing and I really want to use that beautiful printable that has the uh, flowers on there and I'm just going to be trimming that paper to do so um, to help me figure out where to rip it. I'm just putting the folder on top of the paper and then I'm going to be ripping um, around the edges of that flower to create a little bit more interest and to keep that ripped edge uh, in the folder. As you can see, there's still just a little bit of the original folder showing through, so I'm just going to use a scrap from that music sheet and just add it on there as part of the collage. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
done with the collaging on the inside. I just want to trim some of the excess uh, at the bottom and for the excess at the top I am going to be folding it over and just gluing it onto the inside of that flap uh, just at the top there. And I'm just using a little bit of glue to do so and gently pressing so that the glues the glue stays under <laughs> the piece of paper rather than kind of seep through. So here I realized that because I've been adding some layers to the folder, it doesn't quite fold as neatly as I would like it to. So I just trimmed a tiny bit of the inside flap and I'm just um, I'm just gonna leave it for now. It's not perfect perfect but I plan on uh, adding some fabric to the folder so I'm not too worried about it being perfect yet. And so now I'm ready to move to decorating the inside. I want to keep it fairly simple yet uh, interesting and I want it to feel special when you open it. So I've gathered some pieces of fabrics and lace and I'm just uh, trimming just a little piece here uh, to kind of combine those two pieces of fabric and um, I don't know yet what I'll be doing with them but I just thought they looked pretty together by that rose and that lady here I do really like her I'm thinking that I want to add something to the back of her because she's just on a printed paper so I grabbed a file folder uh, scrap that I had and I'm just adding it adding that picture onto it and then I'll be trimming it with my scissors and then I'm gonna be using my exacto knife to create a little bit more of a rough edge and to kind of distress it before I'm able to ink it. So I'm just going to be um, essentially gliding the blade of the X-Acto knife onto each edge to create that rougher edge and that's just going to add that little extra texture that I'm after uh, since it is a printable of a vintage piece of ephemera, I want to recreate that vintage distress uh, feel to it. that I've distressed the edges I'm just going to be inking each edge as well as the back of it since uh, it's a little bit too bright for me so I'm just going to be running over it lightly just to create a little bit more dimension to that file folder. of 
the the folder i really wanted to create a space where whoever is going to have this journal will be able to journal and so i'm just grabbing a piece of paper that i have uh, cabbage dyed and i'm just folding it in four so that i know where to rip it and that fits pretty perfectly onto that middle section and then i'll be using my uh, hole punch just to punch holes <laughs> and to um, use a little piece of twine to attach it to the folder. Um, you could also use staples or you could probably even just sew through, but this was kind of how I wanted to do it. just trimming the piece of twine since it was just a little bit too long for for my liking and I'm just making sure that everything is folding down nicely that it's not too bulky um, and then I'll be ready to add other elements to the folder I've pre-selected just a few elements to a collage on the left corner and I've decided that I want the image of the lady to be a flip up. So to adhere it onto the uh, folder, I'm just ripping a piece of washi tape and uh, I'm just ripping one of the edges so that it's not just a, a straight edge. And uh, I'm gonna be applying that at the top of it as well as applying a different, little bit wider tape uh, on the uh, on the inside part of uh, of the card. I really wanted the person to have this journal to be able to either write a quote or um, just have some extra journaling space into the folder. I'm just gluing those three pieces with uh, the same glue again 
and for the pieces of fabric I am going to be using a little brad clip that I'm just going to push through the two pieces of fabric first and then push through the, uh, the folder. Um, I didn't film, well I filmed it but <laughs> it's not in frame because I, um, I needed it to be really close to me to see what I was doing so that I wouldn't stab my fingers. <laughs> But that is essentially what I did and I just wanted it to, I, I wanted to add that piece of texture into the folder and I really like to have bits and pieces of fabrics that you can uh, kind of touch and move and it's just an experience to me. Um, same thing with the papers that I put on the middle there. Those are doodle papers and I've mentioned this before but doodle papers are some of my favorite papers to dye. They kind of crinkle a little bit as you dye them and I just love the texture so much. They, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're fantastic. So I'm happy with the inside of the folder like this. Um, now I do want to add something to this side of it as it is the first thing you see kind of when you open the first flap of the folder and uh, so I'm just going to be using a piece of washi tape to first off cover the the other side of the brad clip because I don't want it to be uh, dangerous or to get caught on anything and then I'm also going to be adding it's uh, kind of like a paper label doily. I don't really know <laughs> what you would call it, but I'm just going to be gluing that onto that page as again, a journaling space or a great place to write maybe like a title of some sort or um, a really pretty quote. And that is going to be flipping onto the backside as well. just carefully folding it and pressing it down trying to make sure that it's adhering onto the back side here and um, that it's not going to be creating any air bubbles. Uh, I'm just yeah just pressing everything down every step of the way and just being patient with each piece. Now I do want to add a little bit of lace on the inside here and what I plan on doing is just, uh, I'm going to be gluing first on the inside just like a little bit and then it's going to be flapping over to the outer section. This way um, the edge is a little bit more neat since we cut it earlier. Lastly, I want to add a little bit more interest to the front and at first I thought perhaps I would use that same lace but I decided to use that thicker lace. I thought it added like a really pretty color to, uh, to the front of the folder. And finally, I'm going to be using a piece of chiffon uh, ribbon and kind of tying it around it as a closure for that little flip out. And that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really hope that you are enjoying this 
at this series. There are more videos coming where we'll be creating other types of ephemera for this Lady in Blue journal. Thank you all so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would love for you to, uh, to subscribe and um, I will talk to you all in my next video. Thank you so much. Thank you.